Zotero for Mac, built-in PDF reader. The next step, of course, is to read the articles that you've collected or captured with Zotero. And you might like to be making some highlights, uh, some notes. You can do all of that within Zotero's built-in PDF reader. So to get to the reader, just highlight the item you want to use and then double click on the tiny PDF icon. Now here's an article that I've been working with. I'll go up to the top there. On the left hand panel, the default view is all of the annotations that Zotero speak for the notes, the highlights, the comments that you have added to the full text article. And you can search them. You can click on one to jump to that. You can, if you've color coded them, maybe all the green ones are ones uh, that mark quotations you want to put into your paper. You can click on the green and just see all of those. To go back to looking at the list of all of them, just click all of the colors. I have a lot. Uh, if you've only used two colors, then you only have two colors down here. Notice that each item has a three dot menu. And when you click on that, you can add text to your note. You can change the color of the note, edit a page number if you need to, or delete the note or highlight. The other thing that you can do in this panel is click here to see thumbnails of the pages of the document in case you want to travel really fast to the end or the beginning or anything in between. This third button is for when an article has an, uh, an outline that's also clickable. This one does not. My second example does, so I will show you one of those. And now to save a little space here on my screen, I'm going to toggle that sidebar and make it go away. Now over here on the right hand side, uh, we've got this menu, which is highlighted. And that gives us this toolbar, which we've seen before, with the information for the citation, the metadata, and the other controls that let us add tags. And sometimes the authors of articles will provide tags or keywords for you. You can add your own, stay with those, delete anything, whatever. And under this button, Related, you can make a connection between the article you're using and any other article that you have captured in Zotero. Uh, this is a good way to remind yourself, oh yeah, I found something interesting on my topic in this other article that relates to this one. The other option you have on this menu is the notepad. And under the notepad, you have a search feature that lets you search your item notes, also add notes, and this is just notes, or all the notes for everything that you've ever collected in Zotero just in case you need to search those. Okay, let's take a look at what I've been doing here in this article. I'm going to slide over here. So you can choose a color up here, and you can see my first choice, of course, was purple. And then choose either highlight, which I've done here, uh, make a note, which I've also done here, or, instead of highlighting every single uh, sentence, draw a box around a larger area and also color code that. So you can see here's the highlight with the note, and when I click, you can see the note that I've made here. You can add tags. You've got another three-dot menu. This one also lets you choose a different color or edit the page number or delete or add more text to the note. And just click off of that to close it. There's another highlight. And here's what I was 
explaining about the box around this section. And here, uh, once you do that box, you can make a comment, which is this little guy right here. And again, you have the three dot menu. Okay, so you can see how useful this might be when you're going over the articles for your paper. Let me show you another one, which I've not done anything with, and uh, I'll show you how I do these annotations. So I'm going to just click the X to go back to my list. I'm going to highlight the second document here and double click on the PDF. I'm going to open up the sidebar. You can see that since I've not done anything with this article yet, the annotations panel is blank. We still have the thumbnails for the pages that you can jump to. And as promised, this article does have a very detailed clickable outline. Uh, actually, it's more of a, like a clickable table of contents. It's so detailed. And you can go to any section that you want to, and then back again. So again, I'm going to save some space here and toggle that sidebar. And I'm going to go back up to the top, and I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to do orange, and I'm going to do highlight. And I'm going to highlight this first section here. And I'm going to click to add a comment. And when I click off of that, now I've got the highlighted section with the attached comment. I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to do red and make a note. And type something in. And now I can move that note if I need to. And come back and read it. And I'm going to choose another color. And then this to draw a rectangle around this but a certain section and I can leave it just like this or again I can click and add a comment and now when we toggle the side panel and we go back to the notes or annotations we can see that we're starting to build a list of things for this article.